Okay, that was a total nightmare. Okay, so this is the rotten cow on my 72 Mach 1. I've got a Dynacorn replacement cow. They only sell one version. It's the without AC one. This is a car with air conditioning. Now they looked identical when I pulled them apart. So I'm going to reach out to some of the forums, some of these Facebook groups, and see if I can get some information on the difference between an AC one and a non-AC car with these cows to see what I'd have to modify on this to a company and complement a AC car here. So what we're gonna do, as you can see here, I've already cut off the upper portion of the cow because what you do is you put it in the bottom section that has the two big holes, okay, for your air, and then you weld the top piece in on top of that. In a sense, that's a real quick rundown. It's not that easy, but I've already cut the top face off for the most part. There's some remnants of it left and there was a huge rat nest in here. Two full rat skeletons were found. They had to have been in there for many, many years. So we're gonna start working on this, get this thing out of this car. We've got other things to do, so let's get it done. <laughs> Yeah, what we're doing here is separating the panel, the cow, lower and upper, from the firewall flange here. We're left with these plug weld spots, okay? Spot welds. So what I'm trying to do is grind down the welds so thin on the cow panel that I can just break off the cow and leave the firewall intact. I'm hoping I can pull together some cheese and get a uh, spot welder and put this back exactly the way it came and not have to sit here and plug weld all these freaking spots. That would be awesome. Look at how many spot welds hold that thing on there. The rear apron connector. Isn't that incredible? I got sick of that noise over here and just cut it off, but uh, I think my saw is showing up. I got to look. Tech tip, Tech tip of, of the week. Okay, here's a tip. If you're trying to spot the spot welds, sometimes you can use a wire wheel, wire cup, something like that, and you can brush over the area. You've got a good idea where they're at, but you're not sure exactly the spot. 
you can hit those areas with this wire cup or a flapper disc or even a grinder but well, there goes that when you use a grinder i find it can kind of buzz right over the spot weld if it's not a dimpled one where it's got a depression there and then they're hard to find that way if you're trying to drill them out but if you're just going to grind the surface so thin that it just peels up then you don't need the spot welds anyways but anyways glasses put them on let's roll just wanted to pop in here with a little bit of audio and let you guys know you can do the process I'm doing manually here with an air chisel and that makes it go quite a bit faster but I have such a small compressor I honestly just don't like hearing it run constantly because with a 21 gallon compressor that is all you're gonna hear on top of the extremely loud air hammer but uh this is one hell of a workout doing it this way. Holy crap, finally got the cowl out of this car. Except for this piece right here. But I'll get that out. There were bolts here here and here holding this thing in and there was one right here on this bracket holding it to the cowl now something to note there were two clips that went right here this is the old one you need to transfer those over to your new cow. Also, you had this hole on this tab. Right here, I've already screwed it. It doesn't come screwed already on these. So you have this screw on this tab on the passenger side of the cow. It does not come screwed on this thing. You have to do it yourself. So I've already added that. Also, you had this bracket that goes here. You have to transfer that over to your new cow. It's gonna go somewhere about here. All right, what I did is I placed it that looks like the same orientation as the other one and I'm gonna put two little spot welds in the holes because it was screwed in on this one, but there was space in between these there's not that space on this cowl okay same thing with this piece it was right here it was right here on this one but i cut this section out from the top side so you put it down mark your holes and tack it or whatever you're going to do i'm going to clean these thoroughly do an electrolysis treatment on them, get the rust off. Also, make sure you move your nuts around with a stick of screwdriver in the middle of that nut on yours so it slides around freely like that. Mine was stuck in there. Last thing you want to do is get into this thing to where you can't access it, which I don't think is a problem, but just something to think about. Also, these for mounting your ductwork, you're gonna need to add those here, here, and here on your new cowl. Also, some of your bracketry. This bracket here I had to add, take off my other cowl, 
I mean, it'll make sense to you. If it's on the old one and not on the new one, add it. All right, I just wanted to drop in here on the conclusion of part one of the Mustang Mach 1 cow removal and install process. I'm going to be making a part two because I like to keep these videos kind of short. It's hard to sit down and find time to watch a 30 minute video nowadays, so I'm trying to cater to you guys out there that are working hard. Uh, this is my room of doom here and I'm just kind of noodling around. I think this was the day I found out Van Halen died. It was just kind of brushing up on some of my Van Halen riffs, but I write and record all the music for in these videos. So if you enjoy it, let me know down in below. Even some of the goofy electronic stuff, I uh, record that here at the house too. And uh, I'll be working on some new tunes and, you know, hey, who knows where that'll go. But uh, treat this video and all these videos like an open forum. If you've got advice or a better way to do things, let us know. We're going to try to build this thing up. These cars are kind of building some popularity here and for a long time I don't think they got a lot of appreciation but uh, we're gonna try to do this thing right and that's why I'm making it a two-parter because I decided to paint the inside and the outside tape off the edges where I sprayed the weld through primer and then I'll be spraying it all over again once I get the brake booster out and clean up the firewall a little bit and due to me losing my job during COVID-19, you know, the process has slowed down a little bit. That's why the videos on this part of the process have slowed down and on the trunk pan install. But I'll be getting that here soon so we can get back to finishing up that part of the project. But we're staying busy. I appreciate the support. If you subscribe, great. I really appreciate it. I love the comments. Anything is great. I don't screen them. I let everything ride. Have a good night.